Hey, what's up? Um, I don't know, I wanted to talk about something different. So, so I don't know, so I guess, so, I guess this was a topic for like a minute. Unfor um, I would say fortunately, but unfortunately, um, I don't think this, I think at the time, the way how I was thinking then, and the way how I'm thinking, I wouldn't say necessarily now, but, but the way how it looks, it don't look great, but digital versus physical. So, so yeah, so, so yes, this is a topic that, like I said, has been talked about beforehand, especially on my channel, but I never really thought things through. Or better yet, set up damn had thought for it as much. Um, I realize this now, like as I'm sitting up there playing Super Mario Circuit and certain other games that they do have on the Switch, but and I can't say that okay, I'm able to keep these on digital. Yeah, yes, you are able to keep these. You're not able to necessarily sit up there and get anything else, but um. But it's a bit hard to actually keep these games, the digital game, over physical. Obviously, you physically have it in your hand, whatever the case may be. And physical do cost more than digital games in itself. But the problem, but there's like there's pros and cons to it. So normally I'll sit up there and say that digital is the way. Digital is paving, paving the way. It's pa it's paving at least a little bit towards the business aspect. Never actually the the consumer's aspect. The reason why I say business aspect is because you don't have to make as many copies. That's number one. So business is gonna always win when it comes to that. But but not so much for consumers if as to which I said if you're not looking for something digital. Right, you look up something physical, you know, you want that physical copy, you know, stuff like that. And and I think this goes a long way for like indie games too. Like especially indie games. Cause mostly they try to make digital, never physical. Obviously it's too much it's too much money to to have something physical. I would say something like um like I think a long time indie game, I think Sean Tay. It took them a minute for them to make a, a physical release of some of their games that they had. Um, but, but they do have it, yes. But it's been, it's been out for like a minute. So, that's the only thing I can sit up there and say. Make sure you know they had the Game Boy, they had the Game Boy um, version of Shantae. And like so much more. I was saying like this is the only one I could necessarily think of right now. But but I'm pretty but I'm pretty sure there's more that's there that I could be like okay I could absolutely choose. But yeah. Why would I need to start? Um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, but I I think it's that. I think it's a little bit of that. The cost and stuff like that for digital. I'm not sitting up there saying that, you know, digital should be the way. I, I think I think they both should be the way, in a sense. Physical games should, as I'm guessing, it should cost more to actually physically make it and whatever the case may be. So I can't sit up there and say it should cost less. No, but at the same time, I I don't think that it should go away physical games. I think the 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 greatness about physical games is that obviously if you don't like it, you can sell it. You can't really do that with a digital game. When you sit up there, you don't like it because it's probably not your style. You got everybody raving about it, and then as you're hearing everybody raving about it, it just isn't it. And which is fine. Um, I I think the great thing about today's society is that you can actually look it up on YouTube, 
and see if it is the type of game that you like. But then, at the same time, like your favorite YouTuber, whatever the case may be, may not like the game, whatever. I mean, may like the game, or may not like the game, so that's another thing too. So I guess put a point by. But if it's not your type of game, like I said, you don't have to necessarily buy it. So that's a good thing about it. But it still sucks if you do buy it and then you just don't like it. Even though the YouTube even though the YouTuber makes a video about it or makes a couple videos, walkthrough playthrough, whatever, about the game. And you know, like it hits differently. Obviously you sitting up there and you watching it and whatever case maybe. Guys, I am playing terribly, by the way, but I don't really care. But yeah. So you know. So you know, so it's so you know, it's there is caveats to it for both sides. But I don't know, I said what y'all says shoot if if anybody is watching this. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you think about it. Tell me if you really would like physical games to come back and be, I wouldn't say necessarily cheaper, because it is on a, it is around like the scale range that it should be, but if you want physical consoles not to be as much as digital consoles, I guess PS5, the Xbox series, and stuff along those lines, I don't know if they make in the Switch 2, but I think that they are. As I just said, which I still gotta make the um, I still gotta make um, the video for the Nintendo Direct. I still haven't seen it yet, which is crazy. I'm like, shoot, I'll probably make it after this video, which won't be that much longer. But yeah, but I felt, but I felt like I feel like there should be a, which uh, there should be an upside for physical games. Um, I. And and I and I think this might tie into it. I don't know. I don't know. This this is another thing that I probably don't like about it. Is um is I don't know. The games are getting easier. And and there's nothing wrong with it. Um per se, because I can't necessarily complain. I'm like sure, so I'm enjoying my time playing some of these games. But but wake up. But it's not like how it was back then. Where you actually had like a group of games that you could absolutely sit up there and be like, okay, I'll go for this one or I'll go for that one. I might like this one instead. Like there's not, there's not much competition, I guess per se. That's what I'm going to go for. But yeah, but you know what? I'm going to make that into a separate video itself. I might make that tomorrow. Why I feel like games don't really have that competition edge like that anymore. Like, especially with certain genres, but I'm going to save that for probably tomorrow's talk or rant or whatever. Peace out. Tell me if, tell me if y'all feel like physical games should be just as much less if it should be, if it should be around like the same where physical games should be getting just as much love as digital. Digital games shouldn't be getting as much love digital games should also give you a refund if you don't if you don't like the game it should give you like i don't know if it costs 60 dollars i would say at least half your money back or at least a little bit more than your money back some do do that steam the steam deck does do that um well steam does it in, in general i don't think xbox and playstation does that necessarily i don't i don't know i said but i haven't brought a game that i don't like anyway but I don't know if Steam Deck does do that, because I did that with Ratchet and Clank, by the way. That's the reason why I haven't made a video on it at all. For some reason, it's kind of clunky, so... And you're able to warp through things, so... And not in a and not in a way where, like, I guess the game would have you warp through things, but... You're roping through objects early on, and it shouldn't be happening. So it's like a bug in the game. So... So yeah, so I had to get my money back for that. But and I'm trying out other games to see if they do work. So I do remember I do remember somebody um asking specifically for I think it was the make it's Mega Mix um Yeah, Mega Mix um some um what y'all it 
the, basically the game with um which uh, that's supposed to be like the clone of smash but in japanese it has like barbie transformers but i believe it's called mega mix that game also does not work on my steam deck right now which i gotta figure out how to make it work at least like for the gamecube and playstation and and i'm still not sure how to do the playstation 2 anything so so the other game as well isn't gonna be there until like a while later i might have to ask somebody to help me do that so i'll just say be prepared for that and and there's something else oh oh yeah um oh yeah if you want to see me actually like pick up some physical games so y'all can actually see me play it whatever the case may be even if it's a giveaway which i know i'll be doing pretty soon because it's on because jesus september and i think one of the games are coming out so i'll be definitely doing a giveaway if y'all don't watch it now i'm pretty sure y'all watch it when i have a giveaway because there will be so many comments then so it's cool but i saw what y'all said i think that's it and y'all gonna see the ceremony, which I should've probably pressed a little while ago. That's okay. I might also do it direct tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe today or tomorrow. But, it's cool. I will see y'all later. Ooh, B, okay. I will see y'all later, and peace out. Ooh. Be beautiful.